Easy vlog style shooting with your smartphone. Hey, my name is Michael Mansell, and in this video, I'm gonna be opening up the iVlog One. This is from Movo, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you get in the box. Is this the most versatile smartphone kit that you can go for run and gun shooting? Be sure to stay till the end where I'm gonna actually give you some samples of the microphone and that wide angle camera lens. Is this thing worth the money? Let's jump right into it. So first up, the box. Nice big box, lots of goodies inside this box. This is directly from Movo, and they wanted my opinion on what I thought of this iVlog One smartphone video kit. And this instruction manual is quite large, which is kind of nice because it actually just is easy to read, easy to understand, and easy to follow. Lots of good picture diagrams, which are always very nice just to have it easily understood and easily read inside of here. And then inside the box is simply the case, which is nice that it comes with a full carrying case. Very nice, pretty standard carrying case, but it's nice that they include that. And inside here are all the goodies. Everything's really nicely packaged, which I like to see. So it is nice to see that everything has its place. So this is a really nice functioning case if you just wanna keep the whole kit together, or you could just throw this in a bag and go if you're on the move. So first up here, we have the MVT1 miniature tripod and that feels really sturdy we'll get into more of that in a second then we have the tripod extension pole those are always very handy Ooh, look at there we have the smartphone holder this is the pr-3 smartphone holder we have the remote this is just a remote shutter pretty standard remote shutter but it looks sharp then we have the microphone this is the vxr 10 Pro microphone. That looks pretty cool. We'll get into testing that here in a second. We have the hand grip. Then we have the Movo SPLWA 18 millimeter wide angle lens. Whoa, that's got some good weight to it oh, right there. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to uh, click that subscribe button and the bell notification. Up next is the Movo LED Dash XS. This has a built in battery. Look at there, battery life right from the get-go. Then we have the wide angle lens clip. So this is to be able to clip that lens directly onto your phone. And we have a few cables in here. We've got a USB-C to USB-A cable. We have a TRS to TRRS cable and also a TRRS to TRRS cable there as well. And then the windscreen, nice fuzzy, Movo windscreen right there. This is the hand strap. I'll show you how this gets put together in just a second where that's used. I'm not sure if every single one of these comes with two shock mounts, but mine came with two. So not gonna complain about that. That's everything inside of the box. All right, let's get into actually putting this thing together. Now there's several different configurations that you can do with the iVlog one, but I'm gonna show you three specific ones that I found are pretty cool that we can do with this. For the first setup, what I wanna do is I wanna do more of a handheld run and gun type setup. So for this, what I need is we're gonna use the hand grip and we're gonna use the iPhone holder or smartphone holder. We're also going to need the microphone. Now, depending on your smartphone, you may need a different cable, but for most smartphones, what you're gonna to wanna to have is the TRRS to TRRS audio cable or microphone cable. They do have them labeled. As you can see right there, they are labeled. So this one's microphone and the other end is smartphone. So it is nice that they are labeled uh, so you shouldn't get confused. So what we're gonna do is plug in the cable, one end of the cable into the microphone, the one that's labeled microphone, and that's gonna get plugged right in here. Also notice that there is a headphone jack right on the microphone as well. So you can monitor the audio directly coming out of the microphone with this, which is pretty cool that that's included in this kit. Uh, the other thing that we're gonna wanna do is put our shock mount onto the microphone. So that's gonna just pop on right here, like so. And now we have the cable and the microphone connected there. We will come back to connecting the, that to the phone here in just a second. But what we wanna do is we wanna take the strap right here and we're gonna take this strap and we're gonna put it on top, this leather part here. We're gonna put that right there on top. If you can see that, uh, that's gonna go right there on top. And then we can secure it to the bottom of the smartphone holder and just screw it right there into the bottom. Now you can put this and position it however you want. The instruction manual shows you putting it that way. Uh, but the whole idea of course here is that you're just gonna slip your hand through here 
and then you'll be able to hold it. And that is the right direction. If you're, you know, doing a selfie style, if you're flipping it around, you know, you might want it spinning around. You just loosen this right here, then you can reposition that and put the, the strap coming out the back if you're gonna be doing more handheld front ways style this way. So that's how you can do the hand strap on there. Of course, the hand strap is optional. Let's go ahead and put our phone into the holder. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna undo the top here until it gets big enough for your phone to fit in. Of course, I did it way too big there, but it doesn't matter, just uh, put it down. Keep screwing it down until it comes down to the top. And one thing you wanna be careful of is make sure that you don't get it on top of any of your buttons, your volume buttons on the sides or your power button. You don't need to over tighten this, just tighten it to where it's secure and snug because you don't wanna strain this part of the iPhone holder. But now that that's in there, you can see that we're already getting forming a little bit of a vlogging style handheld smartphone video rig. So that looks pretty cool there. As you can see, it's easy to hold and you got the hand strap there so you don't accidentally drop your, your phone down into the abyss, the water, whatever you're by. Now that we have that on there, let's go ahead and attach our microphone. So on top here, we've got a quarter thread and we've got a hot shoe. We're gonna use the hot shoe in this case. And so that's just gonna slip right there. One nice thing about this is it does have levels built in. So you, if you're doing any type of tripod work or you're just hand holding it, you can just visually see, hey, I am staying level, uh, which is kind of nice to have that visual built in. Now, if you're using a phone that does not have a mic or a headphone jack, you will need an adapter. In this case, I'm just using Apple's official Lightning 2 3.5 millimeter jack adapter cable. And we plug that in like so. And now we've got our microphone connected directly into the smartphone. And that right there is a very simple setup, very run and gun setup right there. We've got our microphone, which gives us our good audio. Uh, and we have the video, of course, coming from the camera itself. And we've got a nice handheld rig setup that's that's pretty simple right there to have this rig and setup so this here is my first setup which is just setting it up with using the iphone camera now one thing you're going to want to be careful of if you're using this camera right here you're going to want to make sure that you secure these cables off to the side uh, because you don't want this cable flopping around there and getting in front of your camera lens chances are you might be using the front facing camera anyway so that wouldn't be a problem now while we're here with this setup let me just show you how that you can undo this side here and then you can rotate the phone around and have it more portrait style if you're doing stuff for TikTok or Instagram, and you want more vertical style, you can do that. Now, the one thing that you might even notice me just trying to hold this here is that this grip doesn't really work when you're in the vertical mode. Now I have an iPhone Pro Max. It's an iPhone 12 Pro Max, so it's rather large. So if you have a smaller phone, that might not be a problem, or you could shift your phone up higher. So let's try that. So what we could do is just unscrew this part right here and push the phone up higher and then just hold on to the phone a little bit lower right there. And now it's a little bit out of the way. The cable is still coming down. If we've got our microphone plugged in, that's still a little bit in the way, but that would at least allow us to be able to hold that grip on the bottom there and have the phone not directly interfering with our grip right there. I'm gonna leave my phone in the holder here because the next setup we're going to do here is with the tripod. The tripod has a couple different options with it. The base tripod section right here, You've got two heights with this tripod. There is this standard height right here. And then if you rotate this knob, if you can see that right there, if you rotate this knob here and you can see that's red or not red, this will allow the tripod legs to go down even further. So if you wanna get it down just a little bit lower or just want to be more stable, you can rotate that and get it down even lower. And then on top of this, we are going to put the extension rod. This will get it up a little bit higher. When you're going taller with your setup, you're gonna to wanna to have a wider base on the bottom here. And then from here, we can, we have two options. We can either connect this directly to the bottom of the smartphone holder, or we can attach the ball head to it, which we'll do in this case, we'll attach the ball head to it. And now we have a pretty tall tripod base, as you can see right here, pretty decent size. 
And this feels really sturdy. I'm quite impressed, Movo, how sturdy this tripod is that's included. A lot of times I've seen kits with uh, plastic parts, a lot of plastic parts, but this is really, really solid, feels very, very sturdy. And then, so on top of this, now we're going to attach the iPhone holder. This just gives us that extra ball head action, which will allow us to get some pivoting and rotating of that. Uh, just gives us a little bit more options. And so there you have it. There is the full setup of the iPhone holder on the tripod mount. And we still actually have one more level we can go with this. We can undo this right here and extend it even further. And that's pretty impressive that in this little tiny compact kit that we're able to get that much height with it. I'm impressed with this setup and how tall this is. Now, one little pro tip when you're doing some video, if you wanna get really, really smooth gimbal-like camera shots and you're doing maybe some B-roll, this has some decent weight to it. So if you were to use this setup right here and hold it from the top and downward, you'll get a natural pendulum effect and the weight of this will keep it very steady. So then you can just smoothly go through, kind of like a glide cam, how a glide cam works. So just a little pro tip there on how you can use a tripod like this that's compact and get that really smooth flowy motion in your videos. Okay, in addition to this, we're also going to connect our microphone to it. And we're going to plug in the microphone cable to the back of the microphone and plug it into the camera itself. And now let's rotate this around and let's also add the LED dash XS light. So we add that right there. And now we've got a really nice setup of microphone, camera, and LED light. Again, this is something you could just hold like this, talking this way to it. So you're doing more vlog style with it like this, just holding it out. It, I really like the weight and the feel of this rod. So I would probably even just do it like this setup for vlogging. And then you'd have the ability to pop out the legs and set it down quickly if you just needed to set it down and do another setup, another, another video with it on the ground. Okay, so this is my second setup right here with the, the tripod with extension rod and light microphone setup with the camera. Now there's one more and we're gonna use the wide angle lens for this next setup. Okay, for this setup, we're going to use the ball head. We're gonna use the iPhone holder with the iPhone. We're gonna use the tripod and the hand grip. So first what we wanna do is we can put the ball head directly into the base of the iPhone holder. And then we want to put the hand strap on top of the hand grip, just like before. But this time we're gonna put it into the bottom of the ball head. And you can really get creative with this. I mean, I'm just showing you three different options that I personally like, but sky's the limit in terms of your creativity and how you can put this thing together in different ways, different configurations. Rather than going straight with the ball head, we're gonna tilt it forward a little bit because this is gonna be more of a vlog handheld style with a little bit larger grip. And then we're gonna put the tripod at the base of the hand grip. So this essentially is gonna create a little bit shorter version of the tripod extension pole. We're gonna put the hand grip in there. And what this does is now we've got a nice hand grip right here, but we've also got the tripod that we can pop out in case we wanna just quickly set our phone down, rotate this up and have more of a tripod set up quickly. But then we can also pop these back down, rotate this, angle this, and now we are shooting vlog style again. So. We're not done with the setup though, so let's now put the microphone on top of here. Plug that into our smartphone. And we also wanna get the wide angle lens. In order to connect the wide angle lens, we need the clip and the wide angle lens itself. So we're simply going to undo the bottom cap right here. And we're gonna put that directly into this little opening here and just screw it in. And now we can clip this directly onto our camera lens. So this will allow you to clip it to the front facing camera, or you could even clip it to one of the back cameras. Now the iPhone Pro 12 Max has an ultra wide angle, so I'm probably gonna be more using this on the front angle. One thing that I do recommend you do is clean the front face of your camera there because chances are it's smudgy and you don't want blurry video. So we can take the nice handy cleaning cloth that Movo provides in the kit. And we can take this right here and we can just wipe off the front of that and get it nice and clean. And now we can take our lens 
and position it directly over the cam front facing camera. Now, you're gonna need to play with this a little bit because you're gonna have to really visually look through it to see exactly where that lens is. And the easiest way to do that is just open up your camera. Of course, you're not gonna be able to get face ID when you have that on there, um, but we're just gonna go into the camera app, pop it around to the front, and you can see that it's black. So you can just kind of move this lens around until it's in the center above that front facing camera. And as you can see there now, we've got a wide angle lens positioned over the front facing camera and it's still not quite right in the center. But there I have the wide angle lens clipped onto the front. And now I have a wide angle lens for my front facing camera and it's handheld vlog style. And one thing I noticed is, and you can even see it on this video here, is you're seeing some lens flares coming in from that wide angle, but it's nice to only be able to hold your camera. And if you see me on this here, we'll show you so you can see, I am not holding this very far away from my face, but as you can see in my camera view here, I'm, I'm quite a ways uh, away in terms of my field of view. So this is the distance here that I am from the camera holding it itself, but on the lens here, it's giving me a really nice wide angle. Whoa, that is. Now, of course, the closer you get to your face, you're gonna get more distortion, so you don't wanna hold it too close, but this is really comfortable to hold that right there with that wide angle lens on it. So that there is my third setup for the iVlog One Movo smartphone kit. Okay, this is not the greatest lighting setup, I will admit, but it is giving you an example of what it's like to have the VXR10 Pro microphone connected directly into the iPhone. Now, in this case, I've got the light down at the bottom, so it's giving me this weird, scary, campfire, scary stories, flashlight look right now, but that light is pretty bright, and I don't even have it up on the brightest setting. However, if I turn it around into portrait mode, then I've got the light over on my left right here, and it's a much better balanced light in this scenario with an iPhone. But let's go outside and see how this microphone performs in outdoor environments where there's a lot more noise going on, wind as well. So let's head outside. Okay, so now we're outside walking around here in Park City, and this is the microphone just plugged directly into the iPhone. And then this is a sample of the Wireless Go two microphone that I've shot the rest of this video with and that's just a lapel mic that's under my shirt right here. So that gives you a little sample difference. Now back over to the Movo microphone on top of the smartphone kit here. I will say that it's pretty comfortable holding this thing out with the hand grip right now but let's see what it looks like putting the wide angle lens on that front facing camera. Simply take the wide angle lens and clip it directly onto the front. Let's see if I can get this right about there and there's the wide angle lens on the phone itself so definitely getting a much bigger field of view here comes a car so we'll get to hear a car driving by and see what that sounds like there it goes now i am seeing a little bit of blurriness in this lens here and i'm not sure if that's just the positioning of it i don't have it quite positioned right but it's uh, looking a little blurry there There, that's better. A little bit sharper there. Anytime you add glass on top of the built-in camera lens, you're going to get a little bit of distortion. Uh, and the fact that they include an 18 millimeter wide angle lens on this thing is pretty impressive. So I'm gonna turn around because I'm walking uphill here and that's getting exhausting. So I have messed around with the lens a little bit and I've gotten it to be a little bit clear in focus it was a little bit smudged on the inside of the lens so i was able to get the cloth inside there and get that cleaned out it's also nice about this having the tripod on the bottom of the hand grip is that i can just take this go and open up the tripod legs and set it down like that and then we can adjust it up and I can get another cool angle just like talking to you guys right here, grab it and go. So that makes for a really good versatile setup. Anytime you can put tripod legs at the base of a hand grip, I just find that it makes life so much easier. So is this thing worth the money? Uh, man, that's a hard one for me. 
No, of course it is. It's totally worth the money. The fact that this thing is a complete kit with options. You see a lot of kits out there, they don't give you options. You can't do it into multiple different configurations. You're stuck in one configuration. And this, I just really feel like it gives so many different options depending on the situation, the scene. You could use this for time-lapse videos. This smartphone kit really is all in one and I'm really loving the iVlog One. One thing that you might take into consideration is the fact that this is a fairly large microphone sitting on top of here. So if you are looking for an even smaller scenario, you might consider also taking a look at the MA5L microphone that plugs directly into the bottom of an iPhone. In fact, I did a video on that. Go ahead and check that out now. Thank you.